In science, we try to work out how things work. And we often will do experiments looking for cause and effect relationships. In these experiments, um, you'll come across three variables that you need to be familiar with. The independent variable is the uh, variable changed on purpose by the experimenter, so that would be you. We will try and keep experiments simple and um, usually only have one independent variable. However, in some circumstances, there might be more than one. Uh, the dependent variable is the variable that is measured by, the, by you, the experimenter, and it changes due to changes in the independent variable. The controlled variables are perhaps the most important because they're all the things you need to keep the same in order for the experiment to be valid and to be a fair test. For most experiments, you should be able to come up with at least five controlled variables and often there will be more. So these are all the things that need to be kept exactly the same in order for the experiment to be a, a fair one and valid. For example, if you wanted to do an experiment to find out whether salt, sugar or sand are soluble in water, what variable would you change, what variable would you measure and what variables would you need to keep the same? In this case, the factor that we are changing is the substance. So the independent variable would be the substance being tested, whether it's salt, sand or sugar. The thing that we need to, that we will be measuring is the dependent variable. So in this case, it would be whether the substance is soluble or not in water. Now, the controlled variables are all the things we're going to need to keep the same. Can you think of what they would be? For this experiment, you could write down all the controlled variables in your books under this experiment. So some things that we need to keep the same in order for this to be a fair test. You've probably guessed lots of them already. We're going to need to keep the amount of the substance, so you should use a measuring um, device to say record one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of sand. This would be a controlled variable, the amount of substance. Another obvious thing you'll need to keep the same is the volume of the liquid, the water. So it doesn't really matter what volume, it just needs to be kept the same. Let's say we pour 80 mils of water into each beaker. Um, a third obvious controlled variable is the temperature of the water. If we're using different temperatured water, that would affect the results. So it needs to be the same temperature water. And also we need to control what we're going to do with these things. Are we going to let them sit, and if so, for how long? Or are we going to stir them, and if so, how vigorously or how many times? These would be the main controlled variables, but can you think of any others? Now it's your turn. In this experiment, we're trying to find out whether beans grow faster in salt or fresh water. Can you work out what the independent variable is? Sorry. What the dependent variable is? And you should be able to think of quite a long list of controlled variables. Remember, the independent variable is the variable, the factor you're changing on purpose. The dependent variable is what you're measuring and the controlled variables are all the things you'll need to keep the same for it to be a fair test.